So what can I take? Would you prefer that the city purchase the land or swap the land as was suggested? It would be nice if all three levels of government purchased the complete four city blocks here. Okay. And the concept, when as mentioned, the late Joe Wei, he wants to put up a gold rock, which then brings in Chinese characteristics to Chinatown. Where do we see it? There's nothing. What does this memorial mean to you? Why is it important? Well, again, as I mentioned, our history has been, again, severe discrimination. And when the city had this city uh, triangle developed, because originally the city wanted to put this street, keep it right through the garden, and they want to level it and put the road straight through. But it was the leaders, like Fred Moore and a few others, opposed it. And Joe Way was one of the architects that designed that. So that memorial thing. That is significant. Oh, for that building? The Chinese Cultural Center? That is part of it, but the garden goes right through the, the next street. There's no other garden like that in Canada. Now, if we lose it, that's part of our heritage. Can you tell me why Chinatown is important to you? Like, what is your history with Chinatown? Well, again, as I know something about these Chinatowns around the world, they've been leveled and it's gone. How did you, like, have you lived in Chinatown? Have you shopped here? I'm an outsider in a sense, but shopping and the attraction uh, for my parents who immigrated from China, and it was a connection to uh, Chinese and Chinatown. And I used to bring them for shopping every weekend. Uh, you know, my parents are currently are, uh, and lived in Burnaby. So I would bring them into Chinatown, buy Chinese groceries, like barbecue, uh, pork, and roast duck, and things like that. Would you live in Vancouver now? No, I still live in Burnaby. After 10 years, you'd be birthed back to Parkinson. So did you play in the second world? No, I was after the second world. Uh, well, slight age difference. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Anyways, I was um, interested in what our veteran, the group as mentioned, was Pacific Unit 280, and they were decreasing in number, and they were only down to about half a dozen when I realized that they needed some assistance or to redevelop. And that's exactly why I came forward and joined this group in 1994. And um, then, you know, I was moved up to be the president of the group and decided to expand and increase and bring more members because we have Chinese claims that serve in every conflict that Canada be involved in North Africa, Sicily, Italy, all of Europe, and in the Pacific. Did you serve? I, I did serve, well, again, with the Canadian Army, but I came after the Second War. Okay. However, um, you know, I took all qualifications possible, and then they started to move me up in the system. Right. So I became um, more involved in our Canadian Army. This is total. All the units. At one time, I was responsible for all the army units in BC, okay. and uh, this is where, you know. Could you tell me a little bit more about what Pacific Unit 280, what did they experience? Like, they were experiencing discrimination here. Why well, did they choose to serve? Again, age had caught up to many of them, and we lost them. But from our records, and we have a museum across the street, yeah. it shows our contribution. But we have records of sometimes individuals, sometimes a small group, and they serve, as I said, yeah. in North Africa when the uh, Allies were there. Yeah. Then they moved into Sicily as the Canadians were involved, and then into Italy. And as you know, some of the uh, famous battles of the Canadian Army, yeah. like at uh, you know different areas, and yeah. then eventually all of Europe. Yeah. And um, let's see, uh, these veterans here. Yeah. Um, Bing Long is in the Army. Well, this is all Army, uh, former Army. But we had people serve in the Air Force, 
in the, in the Navy and in the Army. So we were served in so are there any are there any World War II veterans here? Are any of those guys? Well, all World three are. Okay. The one in the center is uh, Tommy Wong. Yeah. He was in the Pacific okay. because the Chinese Canadian Union was a group of 400, yeah. and they were sent to three different army bases to train, uh, basic training, how to march, how to shoot, and things like that. Okay. Once they've done that, then they were sent to mainly Australia and India to do parachute training. Right. And when this group was all trained and ready to go into action, uh, with moving from India, going into the uh, Burma, Philippines, and also planning to go into uh, Japanese occupied China. But as they were prepared to go into action, that's when the uh, Americans dropped the atomic bomb. And they were so pleased. Yeah, they said they would have lost so many. Okay. Do you think you can introduce me to one of? Do you think I can speak to one of these guys? Do you think they want to speak to um, us? Well, uh, 